Hi all, let's do a group of five rated puzzles at Chess World today. So this is at the Play Rated Puzzles page. Let's click Start. Okay, Puzzle 2116. This is uh, Black to Play. It's check, so there aren't too many options. There's bishop, maybe bishop e7 or king move. And bishop e7 does support rook g5 later. So I think I'm gonna go with bishop g7, uh, bishop e7. <laughs> it's not the correct move, oh boy. Uh, there are not too many choices to get wrong there. Um, Can it can't be queen e7, king g7? Hmm. Ah, oh, actually, it does make more sense for bishop f4 now. It does make sense. Ah, oh, that, that was silly. That was silly. Okay, let's try not to guess on the next one a bit harder. Not to guess. Why to play? c6 takes c7 looks pretty strong just c6 if e4 c7 again on 94 we can take i think c6 looks pretty good uh-huh so that's check maybe just king E4. Hmm. Just King E4. Yeah. Okay. Let's go to the next one. White to play. Hmm. Actually, there's a weak back row. I think I've seen the move which looks pretty strong. Uh, maybe not. Oh. Actually, I think I've seen another move which uh, might be interesting. Maybe not. <laughs> That's going to be tricky. Okay, let's think. Some candidate moves. Knight a6. I'm thinking queen takes b4 just as candidate moves just to list out. Knight d7 is a forcing move. I'm not sure what knight e4 is doing. If we look at them a little bit more detail, like queen takes, rook takes, check, there's anything on c8, surely. That can't be uh, too hot. But mind you, here, say on knight c8, isn't there like knight d7 hitting the queen? And if bishop takes, then we do mate on the back row. Yeah, that does seem good. Um, if the bishop went back again, knight d7 looks good because it's hitting the queen. So indeed, in fact, this one of these candidates are already looking like a star move because of knight d7 here, coordinating the two rooks on c8. Um... Yeah, that looks really great, actually. I mean, knight a6 can be ruled out because can't black just take on b3, it hits the rook. Knight e4, I think that's pretty useless. There's nothing going on on d8. So it looks as though queen takes b4 is, is the most promising here. I'll give you guys up to 160 seconds if, or 150 seconds if you want to check for yourself. Um, I believe that's the most promising. Okay, might want to pause the video. Okay, I think I'm going for this. Yeah, so we're going for this. Oh, it's wrong here. Oh. I wonder if knight d7 immediately. Uh, 
unless unless there's another idea here I wonder why this is stronger um wouldn't have thought 96 the taking and giving it f7 94 I think 97 makes a lot of sense still those two pieces are not helping okay well I do wonder if um it was possible to um play the check uh, for 97 maybe this is a no it's not is it that's queen d8 oh. so if we just go back on the mechanics side of things here there's no queen d8 in this position oh blimey oh that really makes a lot of sense yeah there's no chance for queen a at the right time to block just black's just getting mated here yeah okay 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 wow yeah okay need some guidance then uh oh This, I think this reminds me of a game I've seen actually in the past that's rather spectacular. Um, on rook takes a3, you might think that's great because of queen a2, but white saves with queen takes a3. And I know the queen's hanging, but I believe, I feel, I believe I know the solution so I can see the solution to this uh, if I give you up to like 230 seconds or you might want to pause the video I'm, I'm just gonna check what I think is the solution I'm pretty definite about the move order and everything here uh, what am I <laughs> so 230 seconds I think I know the move and it's it's quite spectacular it's like a double dragon drop tactic rook takes yeah because eyes were mating on b1 but now we want to drag the rook to a2 queen a2 yeah because then there's a rook b1 so if taking there's rook b1 checkmate so quite a spectacular tactic in this one if we just check the master game who was that that was Boris Gelfand against Vladimir Kramnik, by the way. Fantastic stuff. We might have actually video annotated that game on the channel at some point. Um, white play. Well, I hope I have anyway. I might do later. <laughs> Not white play. Um, so it's a check. We're in check, actually. Uh strangely so leave the rook hanging or play rook g3 or knight g3 there's three main choices as far as leaving the rook hanging there's also queen e4 check on king h1 so that surely cannot be correct rook g3 queen takes h5 why why <laughs> why would that be good knight g3 doesn't look convincing either rook takes g7 at first sight i'm a little bit stunned by this that it's white to play to have something interesting Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, okay, I can see actually that rook g3 isn't as uninteresting as all that because queen takes, uh, there might be bishop h6 check shielding the queen. And then 
where does the king go on e8 we might have stuff going on there like rook e1 so i believe rook g3 might actually be interesting i'm not convinced about knight g3 i'm going to try this all right so i think bishop h6 makes this slightly interesting oh there's nothing surely now the king going there there's rook e1 there's rook e3 which one rook e1 hmm <clears throat> Oh, then we could take there, can't we? And Bishop F8 winning. No, not winning the Queen. Hmm. We'll try and win the Knight. If their Queen takes winning the Knight, if their Queen F7 is looking crushing. All of a sudden, this doesn't look good for Black at all. If King F5. Hmm. The clock is ticking. Queen takes e7 for queen e6 coming. So rookie one looks tempting just to avoid any checks. Yes. Okay. That looks pretty good. Interesting. Well, at first, it didn't look particularly exciting. White play. Well, here, I think we've had an analogous puzzle a few days back where you got the obvious check, but there's a less obvious rook sack, so a slightly different position there is perhaps more crushing. And it might be here the case because I think queen g7 check or queen f6, queen g7, knight f6. Mm. Yeah, you know, we have um, winning the queen. Um, there's always this discover check there. Hmm. Actually, isn't there queen g8, king e7? Queen g8, yeah. Isn't that just actually in that position? On king eight, there's queen f8 checkmate. If there, queen f6. So it does seem like rook takes f7, queen g7, king eight, queen f8 zaps. I think rook f7 looks pretty strong. I'll give you guys up to 200 seconds, or you might want to pause the video. But I'm going to check out myself rook takes f7. So what am I talking about queen f8? There's nothing holding f8. Sorry, no, that's that's just crazy. So we're back to, for me, I'm back to the trim board of knight f6. King there. Oh, qu queen f8 there with the king there. Pardon me. Forget winning the queen. Okay, I think I've corrected my, my track there. So my track is rook f7, queen g7, king a8, knight f6, king d8, queen f8, forcing queen e8. That looks for me, uh, unless I'm imagining stuff, that looks like the way to go here. I'm not sure Queen F6 is doing anything. So I'm going to go with this. Actually, we've also got this Rook, which we could throw in for usage, but uh, I'm not entirely sure it's necessary. Yeah, okay. Um, let's do one more, just one more. Okay. Okay, so here, it's again another check. This is remarkable, this session, for the number of times we're in check. We start off by being in check. Strange, psychologically interesting scenario to solve a puzzle. Uh, bishop e3 will move the king basically 
if we move to the C2 there might hmm no I don't think there's been on check hmm well I like the bishop here actually is is the point that you don't want to disturb this bishop that you're confident you can just move the king another point might actually be about this past pawn actually on king d1 maybe b3 so i wonder if the king should mind you the bishops are holding that fascinating it may well be the case no this makes it quite hard does the king want to go to b2 or b1 or c2 or d1 as well as bishop e3 these are now all candidate moves which kind of thrust upon um and i can't really see the danger at the moment of the b pawn if the king went this way I think leaving the bishop there because we might have things like knight f5 and rook g7 i would say i'm going to try king d1 because i can't see the queen side danger it's not the right move all right over here nope i'm getting this all wrong here <laughs> okay is that the magic square here b1 okay oh boy <laughs> well it looks as though knight takes f5 would be handy for this pawn actually on bishop takes and e7 i'm not sure how black stops the e pawn actually in that scenario uh move order though what about bishop takes f6 first then knight takes f5 then e7 looks pretty convincing uh i'm going to try this move order no <laughs> I, okay okay <laughs> i'll try first knight takes f5 ah sold for uh, i should have tested more further on that's interesting let's have a look ourselves then okay on rook takes rook takes then there's a mate here and yeah um here um i think just e7 looks absolutely crushing I mean like a double check coming up well this is pawn as well uh it's just it's just like absolutely murderous okay i i wonder if why is bishop takes mm, is there anything i'm not sure what black's really doing here this may well be also Mm, actually no, no no how long black's getting a lot of material here I have three pieces for the queen for example here for queen here three pieces for the queen oh there's the rook there as well that's probably good as well okay okay um just just one more just one more that didn't feel good at the end it wasn't so clear cut white play b7 if we lose that bishop there's rook g8 check I'm not sure about e4 check doing anything hmm. on bishop f2 rook b1 so on b6 rook b1 bishop b6 actually so b7 takes rook g8 i'm going to try this okay well, that was a sweet one to finish on i hope you got all of them right you know to let me know in the comments how you did 
and let's hope our tactics awareness is improving slightly tiny bit maybe uh, together on these sessions comments or questions on youtube and likes appreciated thanks very much